Hello and welcome to Kyoto Driving Park for the feature race of round three of Chase the Sunset. This is a 40 minute battle at very high speed. It's a battle against drivers, against the tyre wear, against the fuel usage. Espadretti leads us away. And we've got John Boy, the winner of the sprint race, followed by Unicorn, the almost winner of the sprint race. Uh, McFlurry, Kevman, who had a terrible sprint race, and then Ollie and myself bringing up the rear. So we can expect to see a, a far more conservative drive this time as the, the drivers try to conserve their tyres, try to not burn off as much fuel. We can see some lifting and coasting. And it might even be a little bit peloton to begin with as the drivers all just try to manage their cars. Straight line there from Kevman. I think he just lost the back end a little bit on the way out. Kevman struggling at this track. It's, it's something we've not seen from him before. There's something here with this car and this track just not clicking. Oh, Unicorn there. Lost the back end. Lost forward momentum. That's going to put McFlurry ahead. But at least Unicorn kept the car pointing in the right direction and on the black stuff. Oh, McFlurry's gone in a little bit tight there, and that's going to bunch up everybody behind him. McFlurry putting himself under unnecessary pressure with that mistake. He's gone defensive. Unicorn's going to try and go around the outside, but there's nowhere to go. McFlurry there making his move back onto the racing line. Up at the front while we're watching that, John Boy has slipped past Espadretti. So there's things happening all over the place. John Boy and Espadretti so far in this series have looked absolutely fierce and phenomenal. Uh, Pedretti got the strategy wrong for the tyres in the sprint race, but you can expect him to have those tyre strategies nailed down for this one. This race literally twice the length of the sprint race. So all you've got to do is get the strategy right in the first race and then do it twice in the second race. John Boy out very, very wide there. That's compromised him for the next corner. Espiretti has no way past. But McFlurry now looks close back. McFlurry's got Unicorn alongside him. McFlurry there was looking for the inside. He didn't find it. And sometime at the back, uh, I got past Ollie. Not quite sure how that happened, but uh, it happened. There's actually quite a battle going on back here. These three cars all together. But what we really want to see is this battle between Unicorn and McFlurry. These two going at it like the legends that they are. And this seems to be catching up with the front pair. I don't know if John Boy's driving defensively or if John Boy's just trying to conserve his tyres, but oh, Unicorn out very wide there. Gives McFlurry some breathing space. We had some tyre smoke there. John Boy out very wide. Espadressi couldn't get through. But it just shows that even though they're trying to protect the car, these drivers are still pushing. And they're trying to find parts of the track where they can save the car and parts of the track where they can really go for it. McFlurry seems to have Espadretti's slipstream. So McFlurry using the car at the moment. He's not, uh, he's not backing down, not driving conservatively. McFlurry wanted to get up there to either stay in the slipstream to save fuel or to get to the front and control the pace of the race. Such is the, the nature of these Chicks to Sunset races. Well, we're just starting lap 9 and look how close the entire field are on that mini-map. Everybody right together battling up and down the field. We've got this top three together, although McFlurry's come a little bit away from that. Then we've got Unicorn. Kevman hoping to do better than he did in the previous race. Uh, he had a, a torrid outing at the sprint race. Oh, please put himself wide there. There's a grandpa coming through. Mind out, Kevman. Oh, we've got smoke up ahead. Looks like McFlurry has outbraked himself in the first corner. That's allowed Unicorn to come past. A unicorn there slipping into third place. 
Meanwhile, S. Pedretti and John Boy almost side by side there. We've got Pedretti back in the lead. I think these two are perhaps fighting a little bit hard for this point in the race, but uh, you know, if they're controlling the pace, then they're controlling the pace. There's nothing the drivers can do about that. Uh, they must have a strategy in mind to be keeping this pace. Oh, we've got Unicorn out wide. Oh, again, McFlurry taking advantage of Unicorn's woes. Looks like Unicorn having a little bit of an issue today with that final chicane. It is tricky. It can catch you out. Unicorn back to fourth. Kevman not too far behind, but Kevman with his own issues because he's being harassed by myself and Ollie. John Boy looking very close to Pedretti this time. In fact, he's had a great run out of that last chicane. And John Boy drag racing Pedretti. He's got him before the first corner. So that's a great move. That was all set up by getting that final chicane right there with uh, with John Boy. And that's put McFurry back into the action as he slowed down Pedretti for him. If you consider the, uh, the sprint race, this is actually quite a quiet race right now, although... Ollie there slipping through ahead of the Grand Palmobile. Myself dropping to last place as Ollie makes a, a very sneaky move out of nowhere. Oh, but he's pushing now. Ollie going purple. He's leaning on those tyres. He's thinking about when to pit. We're just over a quarter of the way into the race and he's just over a quarter of the way through his fuel. So that gives you an idea of how much Ollie is actually fuel saving. Uh, the, the fuel in the sprint race was about just enough for the 20 minutes. Which means these drivers at the back are really, really saving it. Oh, we've got some movement there. We've got McFlurry into the pits and a grandpa into the pits as well. So they're both scheduled stops by the look of it. Uh, they're both pitting, I think, for fresh tyres. The question is, when and how can McFlurry and myself catch up? We know it can happen. We know that uh, fresh rubber on this track is very important. Is that out wide? That's Ollie. Ollie there just out breaking himself, trying to stay ahead of Kevman. Look how tight we're getting at the front now. Three cars all together. As we saw before, the tyres start to go and the cars bunch up. John Boy's dived in for some fresh tyres. Kevman's dived in for some fresh tyres. That puts Ollie up to third place. Unicorn second, right behind Pedretti. Unicorn again trying to squeeze every morsel out of those tyres to make them last as long as possible and you know what I think this could well go to a two stopper and the way Unicorn's driving I think they're, they're trying to make sure their tyres are as fresh as possible at the very end of the race so is Pedretti going to dive in the pits to cover off John Boy let's take a look yes Pedretti goes into the pits and oh Unicorn's hit the pit wall that's slowed them down, that's cost them valuable time. Ollie in as well. So we think McFlurry then is going to take the lead of this race. There he goes, McFlurry. Managed to jump John Boy with his uh, pit strategy, so good work, McFlurry. He seems to have done that by not fueling up. So McFlurry saving fuel. S. Pedretti down in sixth. He's going to be starting to work his way through the field. In the way that he does, he's another driver who's not taken on any fuel. Is that the right move? Well, if they're two stopping, there's plenty of time for fuel later. You may as well keep the car as light as possible now. There's a grandpa around. That is a disaster. There's damage to that car. There's a penalty. There's places lost. Dropping it around this track is just a nightmare. Meanwhile, S. Pedretti already up to third place. Really on the move. Kevman just trying to stay with Pedretti. Who's just absolutely sending it. Oh, bit of a wibble from Kev. Can he keep it out of the wall? Now just a little bit of damage there to the front diffuser and a penalty. And positions lost once again. Woes for Kevman. He's, uh, he's going to be glad to see the back of this track, I'm sure. John Boy now back up with McFlurry. And right behind John Boy, yes, it's Espadretti. 
and he's brought Ollie with him as well. Ollie there in the background, so it's all on. Oh, John Boy just sweeps past McFlurry. No messing. Can McFlurry hold off Padretti is the question. Now, John Boy and S. Padretti driving like men possessed in this race. Their rivalry knows no limits. And if you want a rivalry of your own, check out the link in the description for this video for our Discord. Come and race with us. Oh, Grandpa, that is not the correct racing line. 4.5 second penalty. It goes from bad to worse around here, it really does. Unicorn there recovering at the back in the slipstream of this old man. And that is an easy pass there. Unicorn flying back through the field. They're going to want to get to the front once again. Unicorn running their own race. Uh, with a slightly different strategy to everybody else. Let's see if that tire strategy making those tyres hold on for as long as possible is going to pay off at the very end. It's exactly halfway through the race and now we can really start to look at people's strategies. So John Boy definitely needs a fuel stop before the end of the race. That's going to hurt him when he stops. Uh, Petretti can make it, but he's going to have to really conserve fuel. Same as McFlurry. In fact, S. Petretti and McFlurry are on pretty much identical fuel levels. Ollie may need to splash a little bit of extra fuel unless he's thinking about saving fuel with a, a lower engine mode. Unicorn is fueled to the end of the race so Unicorn's going to try and get those tyres as far as possible, drop into the pits near the end and be on fresh rubber with a very light car right at the end of the race. Kevman could maybe make it, might be looking at the same kind of strategy. Uh, Grandpa, myself, definitely looking at that strategy as well. John Boy, I think, is starting to pull away a little bit from Padretti. And McFlurry in the background beginning to catch up. Uh, oh, John Boy sideways, Padretti sideways as well. Oh, Padretti lost it. He's got damage to front suspension and that, uh, that front bumper. And that's happened right in front of the pit lane entrance. So, what's he going to do? Espadretti has had an extra pit stop. Is it going to change tyres? He is. That's a fresh set of tyres. Wait, is there any fuel going in that car? No, there's no fuel going in that car. Just purely fresh tyres and a repair. So, Espadretti there having to look at a whole new strategy. Is that going to pay off for him? John Boy now has a little bit of breathing space. McFlurry not so much with Ollie right behind him. Ollie having a, a great race. He struggled in the sprint race, but this one going better for him. Look in the background, Unicorn's caught up with this front group. McFlurry at the head of this train. Ollie looking for a way through. Look out, there's a unicorn in the background. So they're gonna to need to be careful not to slow each other down here, otherwise Unicorn is gonna be through. Oh McFlurry's off! And Ollie's off, they've gone off different sides. I wonder if they've they've had contact. Oh, Ollie goes sideways. Can he keep it together? Oh, just point in the right direction there. I don't know if he was clipped then by Kevman. Kevman is showing damage there. I don't know if that's oh yeah, Kevman has hit. Ollie on the way past, taking damage and a penalty for it. Unicorn made up to third. McFlurry managed second. That was an awful chaotic moment. I think Kevman may have come off worst there and he was definitely the innocent party. Ollie now a long way back but thankfully undamaged. Maybe Ollie's going to start pushing now and uh, use some of that fuel he's got. Here comes Espadretti recovering with those fresh tyres and that light fuel load. Espadretti, a driver we've seen many, many times in different formats, just carving through the field unstoppably. Speaking of being unstoppable, the front three. Look how close they are. John Boy is almost out of fuel, so John Boy is going to be making his uh, his last scheduled stop very soon. 
it's going to be this lap. It's not, it's gone past the pit lane. McFlurry, right behind him. Unicorn, right behind McFlurry. Unicorn looking like they're getting ready to uh, stop some tyres. Because if John Boy stops now, those tyres are going to have to go a long way. There's Ollie making his scheduled stop. He's going to try to go 15 laps, sorry, 15 minutes on that last set of tyres, maybe 14 minutes. We need to start paying attention now to who's pitting and when, because it's going to be important, as we saw in the sprint race. The tyres are really what win you this race. I know that's a silly thing to say, but that's the way it is. Ollie also put some fuel in just to get to the end. I think he's come out among this battle. There he is, there's Ollie. He's got a penalty. He must have cut that final chicane before he went into the pit lane, but he's unlapping himself on his fresh tyres. John Boy, will he pit and hand the lead to McFlurry? That's the question. Or does he think he's got enough fuel to go around for another lap? He's certainly got the tyres to keep going for a little while. Is he going in? No, John Boy keeps going. He's absolutely on fumes. Trying to make his pit stop as short as humanly possible. And he's doing well. He's staying ahead. At the moment, I think um, Ollie there may have tripped up McFlurry as he was unlapping himself, but it's Ollie's right to unlap himself if he's fast enough. He's going to try and get past John Boy now. I think John Boy's just going to let him through. There's no point fighting with a back marker. All you're going to do is cost yourself time and uh, potentially cause yourself an accident. John Boy's surely pitting this time around. Here he goes, into the pits. So the battle for the lead now is Unicorn and McFlurry. Uh, there's Grandpa Mobile also in the pits. John Boy going in with just 1% uh, of fuel there. So myself and John Boy looking at about 12 and a half to 13 minutes of tyre requirement. That should be doable, surely. Unicorn probably telling uh, McFlurry if you're staying out, I'm staying out. And Pedretti on that fresh rubber has just rocked up behind this pair waiting to pick them off as they pit and Unicorn does pit so Unicorn's tyres have got about one less minute than others to go Kevman also pits this is so strategic here the the tyres haven't been as important in the previous races but on this track such heavy loads for those fast corners make all the difference. Pedretti all over the back of McFlurry. Is this going to inspire McFlurry to pit? Or is he just going to run his own race? He's certainly running out of rubber. And now he's run out of first place. S. Pedretti off to take his victory. No, McFlurry's running his own race. He's going to stick to his strategy. He's not going to panic. McFlurry's going to try to be the last of the pit stopper to, uh, to ensure that he has the freshest rubber of all the drivers at the end of the race. It's a gamble because he's clearly losing time at this point. Meanwhile, John Moy currently on the back of Kevman. Okay, Pedretti has pitted again. He's got no damage, but this is what looks like his actual scheduled stop. He's not going to be caught out. He's clearly seen other drivers are catching up and he's going to make the use of some fresh rubber. He's, putting fuel, he's put some fuel in. So Espadretti there may have been concerned by his level of fuel. All right, so uh, we've got to sort of battle on. Amazingly, uh, myself up there in second place. Uh, yep, everybody's shocked. Unicorn, though, in third place, isn't going to stand for that. We've definitely got a battle on here. Uh, the Grand Mobile, the Unicorn, Espadretti there in the background, Kevman, John Boy, everybody very close. Oli perhaps not having the race that, uh, that he should be having, but still pushing. Here we go down towards the hairpin. Pedretti steps out of Unicorn Slipstream, but Unicorn, oh, has a bit of a, uh, a lag moment. So we weren't quite sure who Unicorn was there. 
Uh, but now everything's okay again. Espadretti trying to get away from John Boy, who's coming up at the back of this pack. Pretty moves to the inside. There we go, that's second place. Just behind we've got uh, John Boy here. Trying to make it past Unicorn. Kevman trying to make it past John Boy. It's all on. It is all on. It's going to be all on until the end of the race now. I think that's all the scheduled stops done. Except possibly McFlurry. Who's really... Oh, there we go. That's his scheduled stop. So McFlurry's tyres are only going to have to do about eight minutes or so. Which means his rubber's going to be really fresh at the end. Probably didn't expect Pedretti to make that last minute pit stop, but he made it anyway. John Boy here losing out to Kevman in a big way. Can he get through? No, he can't. Kevman just holding him off. The sun's setting. The headlights are on. This is going to look excellent. John Boy now makes it through past Kevman. Can he make it stick this time? It looks like he can. Up ahead, Unicorn sizing up that second place, hoping to try it on. But John Boy is moving in for the kill. Do you feel like the old man in the orange car here might be holding people up? It does happen. Right, we're heading towards that uh, that hairpin again. Is this going to be Unicorn's moment? Unicorn steps out. No, not coming through this time. Oh, John Boy, really sneaky there. Sweeps past Unicorn. Well, that was very cheeky, but it was a good move. John Boy now trying to get off after Pedretti. There we go, up into second place. So, oh, is the Grandpa Hill going to come back? No, it's not. So can John Boy now make it onto the back of S. Pedretti? At the back of this pack, McFlurry with his fresh tyres, just joining in. So McFlurry in a uh, quite a commanding position, even though he's second to last. He's got about seven minutes worth of racing left to do. We move up ahead. Unicorn has made it past the Grandpa Mobile. Uh, as we predicted. Oh, is Kevman going to come through next? Kevman sizing up fourth place. Going to try and go around the outside. Nope. Ducks back in to the slipstream. Here we go again. Kevman making the move up to fourth. A good, clean move. Will he hold it? It looks like it. Yep, he does. So, great move by Kevman. Nice, clean pass. And it looks as though that orange car getting picked off by everyone. Because it's going to be McFlurry coming through next on his fresh tyres. Well, this is one of those things. Meanwhile, up at the front, John Boy practically pushing Espadretti at this point. Uh, about five minutes left of this race and either of those drivers can win it but John Boy is going for the pass he dives to the inside as they cross the start finish line unbelievable about five minutes of racing left and these two going at it hammer and tong although Espadretti with a lot less fuel and I wonder if he hasn't put enough in we're going to find out towards the end of the race there was a penalty. Who was that? Kevman with a, uh, a cut penalty. A track limits infringement. Oh, Pedretti's gone back through. So these two are, are done helping each other. <laughs> They're done trying to stay out of trouble. They are just battling like crazy. John Boy now through into first. Surely they're slowing each other down and allowing other drivers to catch up. But it doesn't seem like it. it doesn't seem like the other cars are catching up they're just so fast right now these two unicorn just about staying with them they're kicking up grass and dust there's tire smoke Espresso, they had a look couldn't quite make it happen but he's got a fuel warning 
can S. Pedretti make it, especially at this pace? And John Boy is pushing him. He's, he's really picked it up. He's got the hammer down. They're using everything left in these cars. Oh, John Boy out wide. Was he hit by Pedretti? Oh, he's been hit by a grandpa car. John Boy with serious damage. Grandpa with serious damage. Oh, absolute disaster for John Boy. Nowhere for myself to go. As, uh, as John Boy there was just sideways across the track. Oh, what a disaster. Meanwhile, in all of that, Unicorn took the lead. Pedretti coming back at Unicorn. Can't quite make it work. No way through there. Unicorn could win this. There's only a couple of minutes of racing left. Unicorn's going to have to stay on the defensive. But that's not happening right now. Pedretti just coming through into the lead once again. Such a ferocious driver. But that looked like he, he cut that last corner, I think. No, the, the stewards say no, that was fine. But Kevman has just made it past Pedretti. And you have to wonder if Pedretti is now concerned about fuel woes. In fact, Kevman sweeping into the lead. Oh, it's hard to keep up. We thought this was going to be a battle between John Boy and S. Pedretti right to the end of the race. And right now, it's Kevman in the lead. And we're almost at the chequered flag. Kevman, who suffered so much in the sprint race. And now, once again, Esperetti takes the lead, but Kevman is right with him. And up into first place. So many lead changes. It's just so hard to keep up. Less than a minute to go now on the clock. So, this is most likely the penultimate lap. Espadretti chasing Kevman. Has Espadretti calculated the right amount of fuel at the end of the race? Has Kevman? Unicorn has more fuel than both of them and Unicorn can push as hard as they want to for this, the final lap. We'll stick with the leader. We're almost there. Can Kevman take victory? Here at Kyoto. Oh, he's got Espadretti on his inside. They're bashing doors. Espadretti goes up the inside with just the final chicane to go. And it looks as though Espadretti may have just snatched victory right at the end. He's made it with virtually no fuel left. Kevin Man second, then Unicorn, then myself, then John Boy, McFlurry, and Ollie kept it circulating. Even though all hopes he'd lost fight is out of fuel. But congratulations to S. Pedretti, the winner of the round three feature race. Oh, crikey, that was quite a race. Hope you enjoyed that as much as we enjoyed racing in it. Round four will be at the Broadbean Speedway, so I hope you'll join us for that. Until next time, I want to say a big thank you to our channel sponsor, Button Bashers, for PCs, consoles, games, and accessories. Thank you, of course, to our Patreon for supporting the channel in their unique way. And, of course, to our Discord for taking part in these races. You can get involved with all of that with the links in the description down below. But until next time, be good to yourselves, be good to those around you. Bye-bye for now.